after 40, no woman sleeps through the night. That's what my gynecologist told me when I complained that I couldn't sleep through the night. And I'm sorry to report, in my case, she's right. What I have found is that I can get a better night's sleep with a few things I will share with you. After a lot of research, I have found that some things work and some don't. All the experts tell you to create a routine. Ah, that has worked. I try to go to bed at the same time every night. And I have to tell you, my bedtime routine, the pre-bedtime routine is pretty hectic. You can check it out right here because after 40, things change. But after I'm done with all that, I get myself in bed around nine o'clock every night so that eventually I'm falling asleep kind of at 9.30, 9.45, same time every night, and that helps me get a better night's sleep. I forgot to tell you that to my pre-bedtime routine, I add a hot shower. I usually take showers in the morning because they wake me up, but I got that tip from friends of mine who helped me make this video about picking the best mattress and pillow Watch that, because that may also be an issue with your lack of good sleep. But those friends told me that the hot shower relaxes your muscles and gets your body nice and calm for bedtime. To that, I add these products from Bath & Body Works. I'll put the link in the description of this video. It's their sleep line. I do lavender vanilla. I shower with this shower gel and then I put this on my chest and my arms specifically so that way I can breathe in the lavender and get a nice sleepy time. Let's talk about lights. The experts tell you to keep everything nice, cool, and dark. So right before bedtime, I turn off all these bright lights. And my night table light goes on and it kind of tells my body, this is it. It's time to go to bed. Then I take a melatonin. How are we feeling about the melatonin? Some doctors and some experts say you should use this sparingly. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna keep it real. I take this every night, five milligrams, right when I get in bed. Does it work? I'm not really sure. I think it does. I don't know if it's mental, but it works for me. So tell me, what do you do? Do you take melatonin every day? Do you swear off melatonin? I won't do sleep aids. I, if I do Benadryl, I wake up groggy. I've never taken a sleeping pill because I really don't feel comfortable doing that because I have to wake up and be alert, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed for my job. So this has worked. Tell me what it's worked for you. Leave it in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, do it. Once I'm in bed, all electronics are off. Well, no, I'm kind of lying. TV's off, I don't look at social media, I am not doing work on my laptop, but I do read on my Kindle. I'm sorry, I can't quit it. I'm an avid reader and I can't, I don't have the space to keep all the books that I read, so I use my Kindle. This is one thing that I do make sure of, that the light is all the way low so that I don't have that intense light at my face. I also wear glasses that block that light that allegedly keeps you up at night, and that has worked for me. Another no-no that I do is that when I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't fall back asleep, I pick this back up, and reading always helps me. How about you? Tell me what you do if you wake up in the middle of the night. How do you go back to sleep? That's the hardest part for me. Last but not least, let's talk about booze. You've seen a day in the life of me, right? Check that video out here if you haven't. Sometimes I need more than sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. I need my glass of wine, I do. And a lot of experts say, do not do caffeine, do not do alcohol so that you can sleep better. I don't drink caffeine except for the mornings, but at night, I need a nice glass of wine. And I have a great internist who told me, as long as you take that glass of wine with dinner, two or three hours before bedtime, you should be okay. That works for me. What works for you? Leave it in the comments and subscribe if you haven't to and let's keep it real together. <laughs>